happening, everybody? Welcome to episode two of Award Watch. I'm sorry about last week. We took a week off, but it is today. Now, Wednesdays are the new time showing every Wednesday afternoon for Awards Watch. So let's talk about a couple of things that are going on right now. First off, we're going to talk about the movies that are opening this week uh, for awards contenders. But let's go ahead and just talk about what was first off. We have the first award show special all that that just recently happened the first to kick off the entire thing which was the critics choice awards the big movies that took over was la la land completely dominated for best picture best director all of the categories like in design and costumes and stuff like that for best director damien chazelle for um whoop for la la land one uh very well deserving my boy Casey Affleck won for Manchester by the Sea for Best Actress, though Natalie Portman surprised a lot of people for her role in Jackie. Also, some others you need to look at. Uh, Tara, Tara B. Henson, we'll talk about that name in a little bit. But other things you really need to know. I'm going to take a drink of water. Other things you need to know uh, was Viola Davis taking Best Supporting Actor. Now, I think this is what Paramount is doing. With the film. I think they are really going strong as they are talking about these movies. And I think they're going really strong because I think they're going to really try hard to captivate that motivation for uh, Fences because she needs to win an Oscar. I think she was snubbed for the help. So I think she deserves to do it. For Best Supporting Actor, Marashima Ali won. And for Script, uh, La La Land and Manchester by the Sea tied in that. So... That's moving on to the Critics Awards. La La Land wins big like I thought it would. Let's go with the Golden Globe nominations. Uh, the Golden Globe nominations came out yesterday as we're recording this. They came out. The big uh, surprises was Deadpool going best comedy for best picture. was Deadpool going best comedy. Um, Florence Foster Jenkins dominating in the reviews as well. Um, some other things you need to be surprised by was actually Meryl Streep, surprisingly not, getting nominated. But the big one was Deadpool and Ryan Gosling for Best Actor. Uh, Michael Shannon not getting nominated, but Aaron Taylor Johnson instead got nominated. That was the big surprise, I think, for a lot of people. Uh, besides that, I think the big awards were given. I think Howard Highwater, Jeff Bridges, those getting nominated was great. I mean, Manchester was a given. Um, for the Best Picture nominees, it was Moonlight. It was... Uh, Lion, which I need to see. I need to see Lion before the end of the year. So, But that's my thoughts on the Golden Globes. There was some big snubs like Deadpool. Where's the nice guys? The nice guys should be on there. But that. But let's go into the last segment of this episode. Opening this week for movies, if you guys need to see. Now, of course, we have the big juggernaut Star Wars. Um, Rogue One. But the big one I think people need to check out that's coming out. you got two movies. You've got Collateral Beauty, which I've heard as of right now. I was very intrigued by what I'm hearing is it's not great. It's really bad, actually. Uh, and the second one is Manchester by the Sea. It opens, expands uh, nationwide. Now, we're getting a lot more movies come Christmas time for Awards Watch that you need to know. But that's pretty much the end of Episode 2. We're getting into the big nominees. We're getting into the big awards times. And so that's going to do it. That's going to do it for Awards Watch Episode 2. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.